Hi, welcome back to I'm Possible. So today is gonna be cardinal signs. I'm gonna be giving you, I'm gonna be giving you your angel messages, what spirit has to say, what's coming out for you guys, what possibly lies ahead. Right? Okay, I'm gonna be doing readings um, on my other channel, I'm Possible 2.0. So please like, share, subscribe to this channel and my other channel for your chance to win one of my Love Jones deck when I hit 55,000 on my other channel. So this cardinal signs, if you don't know are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, okay? So let's see, let's begin, guys, let's begin. Um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold up. Oh, the title of this video is gonna be a Bible verse. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there, by the way. Um, if, you, um, if you have a problem with Bible verses, please go to another channel, okay? Yes. All right, angel messages, let's go. Jeremiel, Jeremiel, okay? You may be dealing with a Scorpio or have rising moon Venus or your north node in Scorpio. I see 29 is 11, the ascendant masses are with you. Um, your master number, your life path number may be 11, okay? As well, some of you guys are 29 years old out there. Um, but I see very confident, very secure. Purple may be your favorite color, but purple is all about royalty, right? Loving yourself, feeling confident, feeling self-assured, secure in oneself. Uh, but this is valuing yourself as well. You may come from a lineage of, you know, royal family or, you know, um, a, a upstanding family where, you know, I'm, that's for some of you guys, okay? But some of you guys are front and center stage and the spotlight already as well. Um, yes, but feeling good about oneself. Some of you guys are exercising, dieting, fasting out there. Uh, yes, but your third eye is activated. Follow your intuitions here, guys. You guys are highly intuitive out there. Or some type of spiritual leader or spiritual speaker or public speaker. Somewhere in the public eye. Artist. Some type of artist out there. But you guys look good. Whoever this is looks good. But 11. You may be seeing 11-11. You are on the right path. You're being divinely guided at this time. And 11-11 is also soulmate unions or connections, partnerships coming in. You may be having a lot of prophetic dreams about trains and bus traveling as well. But but pay attention to your dreams. And I have um, your affirmation for dreams. Okay, so Jeremio, angel of symbols and dreams. I was just saying that, right? So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities because you're going through the awakening process. Some of you guys are already awakened and ascending, and some of you guys are still awakening to your truth, breaking out of the matrix. Okay? Life lessons. Right. So you're overcoming your obstacles. You understand whatever situation happens in your life, whether, whether it's a person, place, a thing, is a lesson that needs to be learned and applied to your life. So life lessons. You've been through a lot in life for some of you guys. You learned your lesson, and now you're more confident and self-assured. Even if you're single out there, you're confident in oneself. You're wise. You're knowledgeable. You know a lot. You've been through a lot for some of you guys. Emotional connection what I said. So there is an emotional connection or a partnership coming in, but this is you releasing, right? All that build up repressed feelings, releasing it once and for all and learning to appreciate yourself again. But there is an emotional connection here, or, um, you're going to meet someone that you're going to just feel this, that you can, you know, you share a lot in common. You can talk to, you can release your pain on something like that. You're going to have things in common with this, whoever this is. Visions, Yes, you're getting a lot of visions here, okay? You just have a knowing. You have an inner knowing. Follow your gut feeling. Always go by your intuitions. Clear cognizance. Yes, you can predict things before it happens. Or sometimes you say things and it scares people because it's like, how do you know that? Yes, so you're spiritually developing, spiritually inclined here. You've been spiritually blessed since a child. This is a, this is a beautiful gift to have. So developing it, developing it. Speaks through signs, what I said. So when you speak... Everything I was just saying, when you speak, people get scared of you because these things happen. So it's like, you know, they say speaking it into existence. No, it's just that you have a feeling and you just say like, hey, you know, I don't feel like going to that. Say like you plan something with your friends to go to a party on Saturday. And then when Saturday comes, you just feel like this airy feeling. The day is going bad. You can't get your hair done or nails done or just shit is fucking up. You know, that spirit is saying don't go but you have a feeling like something is not right here that means something is not right 
okay? And you you possibly pass the message on like, hey, I think something's gonna happen tonight. I don't know, I have this eerie feeling like something's gonna go down or something's gonna happen here, and it does. See? So, you scare people. Uh, yeah, so I'm picking up a high priestess here or somebody spiritually inclined or somebody that's a reader like me or a light worker out there. Something here that you do here, a medium. Uh, yes, okay? But when you feel stuck and need guidance, ask me for dreams to give you clarity on what course of action to take yes so we're gonna we're gonna give the i'm gonna give you a dream affirmation but ask your angels ask pray on it and ask for prophetic dreams and so and re to remember your dreams so that way you will get the message that they're trying to send or trying to you're trying to figure out here amethyst so some of you guys may be dealing with um an aquarius um or a Pisces, depending on the month that they were born, but February. Um, but something happening in February, okay? Something about February. Um, but Amethyst is a powerful healing stone as well. One month, so something is happening in one month, and look for a sign. But Spirit is saying, pray on a sign. Prayer is essential, guys. This is why I put Bible verses. Prayer is essential. It's important. Okay? Practice it. Learn how to practice it. Okay? You'll be amazed by what messages or what you see. Okay? Yes. Uh, let's continue. Let me get... Uh, here we go. One of these. This is one of your... Uh, another affirmation. I am full of positive, loving energy. I am full of positive, loving energy. I am full of positive, loving energy. That is your affirmation. I am full of positive, loving energy. So with anything, do it with love. Even if you're mad at a person, send them away with love. Love is the greatest, greatest, great. We, we all supposed to love each other no matter. I, I understand. Even love your enemies. Pray for them. Okay? But I am full of positive, loving energy. Okay? Yes. All right. So let me get your other affirmation here. Wow. Okay. Um, you may be dealing with a fixed sign because fixed signs got this yesterday as well. Pink may be your favorite color, pink walls, pink carpet, something about pink, but you're very, you're really in your yin energy, Empress, Taurus, Libra, but you may be dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio, okay, because they got the same card, all right? But it says, you do not have to be, you do not have to stay in between the lines or do what everyone else is doing. Paint your own picture of what you want your life to look like, exactly. So this is your life, how whatever outcome it, it, it is is up to you this is your destiny you're in charge of your destiny you are the creator of your reality so how do you want your life to to turn out it's up to you okay so change your mindset you change your world got what I'm saying so this is a mural okay write down your ideas but start implementing your ideas start working on working on it as well because I do see you guys are very confident okay but this is not a time to give up this is a time to rewrite your life if it sucks if you feel like it sucks you're stagnated you're delayed this is a time to rewrite it you are in control okay cardinal signs all right so let me get your dream um, affirmation take the lead be the leader not the follower basically that okay it says rising okay rising this is your dream affirmation may my awareness of my dreams is rising my awareness of my dreams is rising my awareness of my dreams is rising some of you guys are getting prophetic dreams or dreaming about things and you don't understand your dreams so yes my awareness of my dreams is rising okay so becoming aware of your dreams and the meaning behind the dreams okay yes they have a lot of uh youtube or you know um you can google what your dream is about that everybody has a different message for a dream but it's a personal meaning for you so you it's put it put it's putting the pieces together to figure out what the message is okay yes let's continue here
medicine. Some of you guys may be doctors, going to school for some type of PA, MPs, um, you know, medical doctors, surgeons, or you guys have a health concern or a health issue out there that needs to be addressed, okay? Or some type of medication or some type of, or dialysis, something that's happening here, but studying medicine. Some of you guys make your own medicine as well, herbalists out there, um, yes, okay? But um, holistic, but medicine. Your gifts, strong interest in health, yes. So taking care of yourself, eating right, going to get checkups. Two, natural healing abilities. So you have the power to heal yourself. Yes, you have the power to heal yourself, self-heal, okay? That's a very good, that's a very good attribute to have. Number three, desire to help others, humanitarian duties. So you're desiring to help others, okay? I'm seeing an MD plate, so you may have an MD plate, license plate, or something like this. But you... It's, it's a desire to help others, okay? Yes, but be mindful of who you give your energy to as well. Follow your intuitions, okay? Challenges. Attached to outdated beliefs. Again, change your mindset, you change your world, okay? It's time to, okay, this is new. Let me learn. Let me develop, okay? Not being one-track minded, right? Opening your mind to expand, to learn different techniques and update it. Uh, things right Two, family clashes so you may be having problems with your family bumping heads not seeing eye to eye whatever that may be okay so this is your challenge and number three difficult expressing difficulty expressing feelings to others so you hold a lot inside that's why I say you're re you're releasing repressed feelings emotional connections right so some of you guys could take things to heart some of you guys are distant from your family or not speaking to your family or children whatever that may be Okay, but it's having to learning to release this pain and find the common ground. Communication is key. Okay, yes. Lesson you learn to let go of chaos and deepen your trust in others. What I said, so it's releasing this pain, releasing it once and for all, and bonding, mending things like coming up with a, a resolution here like how can we resolve this even if you don't even if you don't speak to them again and feed them with a long spoon, it's just making an amends here. Let bygones be bygones. That's it. Okay? Yes. That's energy. We're not, we, you're not wasting energy on petty shit. Got it? Uh, things that, you know, can easily be resolved here. And even if you have an argument, but there was words left unsaid, how, is you, how are you going to have closure with words left unsaid? Okay? But this could be with people as well. Uh, yes. Um, but let's continue here. Let's continue. You know what? Yeah. Yang, what I said. So you're in your yin energy with the pink. So loving with yourself, putting yourself on the pedestal, not chasing anyone. You know your worth, you know your value, and now your yin is coming in. What I said, 11-11. There's a soulmate coming in. Your divine counterpart is coming in. Okay, but some of you guys may possess a lot of masculine energy um, even if you're a female, you possess a lot of masculine energy, and especially if you're single, you have trust issues. You've been through a lot in life. What I said, some of you guys been life lessons. You've been through a lot in life, so you know you have this tough exterior. You're not you. Uh, you have boundaries set up, walls that you're not gonna allow anybody in your energy because you've done been screwed off over one too many times with the opposite sex, whether you're heterosexual or bisexual or. Uh, asexual whatever pronoun you go by okay but this is what this is okay yeah but your divine counterpart is coming in all right so there is a divine masculine coming in all right yes Heavenly helpers, exactly. Stay connected to the divine. What I said, the ascended masters are what? With you, okay? 25 is seven. Some of you guys may be 25, 52, but seven. Your blessings are on the way. Prayer is essential. Some of you guys may be Jesus, but seven also speaks of Jesus factors. Being some type of light worker, spreading your light, helping others through your work, healing them, okay? 
yes but heavenly helpers okay so your angels are waiting for you to ask for help pray on help but prayer is essential here guys but your spiritual team is guiding you through this difficult situation exactly they're with you along the way okay 11 that's what we started with but they're with you along the way and i do see some type of blessing coming in for you guys okay yes Heart chakra. Okay, so somebody's coming in with unconditional love, but you're still healing past a situation here. Some of you guys are healing past heartbreak as well. Um, still harbor feelings for someone. But learning to love again and to accept yourself and to love yourself. Okay? Learning that you deserve love. Healthy love. Okay? That happens organically. But... There's somebody who holds you dear to their heart that has unconditional love for you as well. But you're still healing past the situation for some of you guys, okay? But heart chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. Love. What I said, do things with love. Send people away with love. Didn't I say that? Okay. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart. What I said. And we, as we stand by with per perfect protection and guidance. As we stand by with, with perfect protection and guidance. So they're guiding you and somebody's being divinely guided towards you. A healthier person that's going to appreciate you, understand you, and love you unconditionally to the end. This is beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. Ah, this is beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. Anyway, I mean, <laughs> don't mind me, cardinal signs, but this is beautiful. Okay? Yes. They're protecting you. Your ancestors are protecting you. They know that you deserve love and to be treated right. And that's exactly what is coming into your life. A healing. This is going to be a healing energy, guys. inspiration board what i said write down your ideas write down your ideas but it says keep calm keep calm your blessings are coming in don't allow anybody to take you out of character as well but you have a lot of ideas okay some of you guys already have a vision board but spirit is saying create a vision board how what do you want your life to be what do you want the outcome to be it's up to you so put things down on a board, but you know, you not only have to put things down or write things down or what you want to say, get a magazine, cut out some pictures and put it in front of you or put it in a place where you can see. You have to also work on it. Got it? You have to put that work in. As long as you're not doing anything illegal, put that work in. Okay? But inspiration board. And look, I see love. There's a message coming in with love, but love is definitely coming in. Okay? I say I see be happy as well. Uh yes. And I see keep your head up or something about head up. Okay. But anyway, I see family here as well. So some of you guys are already uh in a family. Um I see traveling, but I see a lot here. So you have a lot going on in your life or, or want to accomplish a lot. Make the vision board. Inspiration board. If I am ever feeling down or bored, I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home. I fill it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration and joy. Everything I was saying. Correct? Yes. All right. Oh. Let me get one of these angel messages here. children so some of you guys work with children children may gravitate to you need to heal in a chill childhood wounding um children may be affecting a relationship or there's somebody coming in with children uh you may be pregnant now or manifesting children into your life um or writing children's book uh work uh, something about the juvenile 
okay? But children may gravitate to you. Uh, or you work better with children. You have more patience for children. But there's something surrounding children. Some of you guys' children may... Um, something wrong with a child here with the medicine here there may be some sickness here or you may be pediatricians or studying something here okay but your love life may be affected by children okay so something about children or there's somebody younger coming in that's going to help you heal your childhood okay Ch your inner child okay yes before i get to that let me get to this Some of you guys may have been um, adopted or, or uh, fostered. You may have lost a child. My condolences. Or, you know, you grew up past. It, it, I forgot what it's called, but uh, emancipated adult at a young age. Okay? You, you know, you had to fend on your own since a young age. Something about your child here. Or you didn't have a childhood. Uh, you had to help raise others, brothers and sisters. Something like this. Okay? But... Some of you guys are longing for children, improving health. Yes. So some of you guys have a health condition that is improving. Take your time. Okay. Yes. Um, getting some type of help or, um, you know, going through some type of whatever that health condition is, but it's improving. Your health is improving. Okay. But you're improving your health. But if not, go to the doctor. Okay. Eating right, exercising, stuff like that. Nine, nine, nine. You are definitely on a spiritual path here, spiritual journey, spiritually awakening. Okay, but continue to let your light shine bright. What I said, your front and center stage, confident in the spotlight. So spirit is saying, continue to let your light shine bright. That's right. Okay. Nobody's gonna dim your shine. Get one of these. No matter the situation, send them with love. Lantern, new opportunities are coming in. A passionate new beginning, a burst of inspiration here. Some type of passion being ignited in you, but spreading your light to the world. Yes, some of you guys may have been, may be having problems paying uh, your electric bills. I'm not gonna lie, but Lantern. But new opportunities are opening up for you. Um, cardinal signs, this is a very, very good new relationship. There's a newness going on here, okay? Yes. All right. Oh, but before I begin, I forgot to get one of these for you guys. Okay. So this is this is an important message here. It says, what risk can I take today or this week? Because this is a weekly reading. What risk can I take today, starting today or this week? Okay. It says, be not mistaken. You will have to take bigger risk than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams. You will have to take the big, scary leap. It's up to you, your destiny, what I said. But do not fret because your soul has wings. So if you get a prophetic dream, pray on your dream. Jump. Don't be afraid to jump, okay? What risk can you take to move towards your dreams? everything I was saying, right? Make a decision and do it. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover what you are really made of. Yes, I had this dream. I had to jump in my dream. Yes, I did before I start YouTube. So you're going to be getting dreams, prophetic dreams. You're searching, you're seeking. Keep on, 999. You're, you're spiritually ascending, awakening, okay? Yes, so... What risk can I take today, this week? And this is what it says. If you want to take a picture of it, cardinal signs. Okay? All right. Now that that's done, I'm going to begin with... Um, Aries. All right, Aries. Hold on. Okay, let's go, Aries. Make me proud, Aries. <laughs> Make me proud. 
Okay, let's do this. The star, you're making me proud. So you're going through a healing journey at this time. It's a renewed sense of hope and faith. Again, prayer, a lot of prayer going on here. Some of you guys are very successful out there, are star status already. There's manifestation taking place. I do hear traveling, but something is coming in towards you or someone. But I see blessings coming in as well. But your health is improving. Some of you guys need a spiritual bath out there as well. I'm not going to lie. You may be dealing with an Aquarius or have rising moon Venus or your north node in Aquarius. Um, but I do see you guys being very successful but still on a healing journey. Um, yes, but there's unexpected help coming your way as well. Um, you're getting insight and clarity about your life and where you want to be. But uh, a burst of inspiration coming, coming in. Okay? That's the truth, okay? There's a breakthrough coming. Again, you're getting clarity on a situation. You're setting those healthy boundaries. Now, with it coming out fumble, some of you guys, is a lack of communication or there was a miscommunication that happened here between you and someone or somebody may have lied to you here. But somebody here wants to heal a situation between you and them. Somebody wants to bring clarity to a, clarity to a situation, but you speak plain. You speak plain, okay? Which means that there is no misunderstanding. Okay, you don't have to use big fancy words to understand what the fuck I'm saying. Okay, but there was there was a possibly an argument or miscommunication that took place here, and now healing past this, somebody wants to clarify things here, clear things up. But I see that you're setting those healthy boundaries. You're cutting through people's masks here, but it's judgment. Okay, what is fair? What is right? Some of you guys may work for the law, military out there. Um, yes, but I see you coming up with new ideas, new plans, and I do see success for you. As well, some of you guys are public speakers already. Speak to the public. Something that you do in the public eye. Yes, two of swords. Did what I said. There was a miscommunication, block communication. Something was said here, or somebody put, may have lied, or uh, you know, exaggerated the truth here. <laughs> but you're blocking people out right now. It's blockages. Okay, I want to see what this blockage is. But something you don't see is coming in. All right. But right now you're taking time out to heal and to clear your head and to get clarity on a situation here, making a decision here. Okay. But there's an indecision here. There's stagnancy here. Somebody may have blocked you out as well. Okay. But, you know, um, yes, let's see. But there was some type of disloyalty that took place here. Or a divide in loyalty. Yes, nine of pentacles. Why are you working on yourself? Okay. Yes, with the nine of pentacles here, some of you guys are single. Become a single or just want to maintain your single life. You're focused on your money. Okay. Yes. You're very quite content with yourself and your money. Now, you know, when I see this nine of pentacles, it's like you don't need anyone. You're self-assured. You're self-sufficient. You're a hard worker. You work hard to get where you at here. Okay. Then I'm now they be now be somebody single coming in because I do see success. Some of you guys are already celebrity status, famous, okay? And you're quite content being by yourself. But with the Nine of Pentacles, what you focusing on is your independence and your money, your status, okay? Yes. Self-preservance, okay? But I see a lot of eyes on you, attraction here. Yes, Four of Pentacles, what I said. Yes, so right now you're saving money, you're budgeting, Okay, you're being frugal, you're spending on what's needed, okay? Because right now you're trying to get to the nine of pentacles here. But somebody may be still holding on to your energy here or this communication, this lack of communication that happened here. Um, yes, but saving, okay? You're saving to be independent. You want to do things on your own. You want, you don't want, you know, some of you guys, uh, you know, got out of a long-term relationship or you've been single for a long time and just doing it by yourself or there's something here that's happening where you're just saving to go on your own okay yes Yes, eight of wands, yes. Somebody is coming in with communication, but I do see traveling as well. Um, yes, but something is happening quickly. Somebody wants to talk to you here. Something that they've been holding back for a long time, okay? You may have been dealing with somebody that was stingy and greedy with money as well. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, okay? Yes, uh, but there is a message coming in. There is, so what is this about? Somebody may need to borrow money from you as well. Be careful with this. Six of Cups, okay, this could be from one of your children 
or this could be somebody from your past, a family member, or um, a past life love. Uh, yes, but there's a soulmate coming in, okay? But this is somebody from your past. Possibly you have children with them, or they have children with you, but it's familiar, somebody familiar. Now, this person may be new, this person may be single, and, um, you know, got their shit together already, but... Um, when you meet this person or speak to this person, they're going to be familiar with you. But now, this is somebody that you already know for some of you guys that's coming in. Okay? They may be suffering financially. Yes, ten of, they may be suffering financially. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's doing well here. I'm not going to lie. Somebody's financially fucked up and somebody's doing well here. Self-sufficient. Okay? Okay? You're blocking out communication and you're just focusing on yourself and your work and your money. But you're looking good. You're looking good. You don't need anyone, like I said. But somebody is going to need your help here because they somebody feels like they could build their legacy with you here. But this may be over property, inheritance. Some of you guys are already entrepreneurs, have your own business. But they are, I see a lot of money coming in towards you guys. A big deal. Possibly a promotion as well. A new home. Um, yes, business taking off here. But somebody sees your business taking off. But I see lots of money coming in here. Lots, lots of money coming in. Okay? Yes. Some of you guys are single parents out there as well. This may be your children schooling or, you know, saving up for your children's uh, studies or college. Something here going on here. But somebody here from your past needs your help here. Now, this may be a soulmate, but somebody feels like they could build their legacy with you. They want to come in for long term here. Okay? They want to settle down here. Now, some of you guys are already married with the children, the house, the dog, and one of your siblings or a friend needs help here, okay? Yes, six of wands. I'm not, yo, yo, there come, yo, there's a new love, wow, Aries, you're making me proud today. Aries, this is the bomb. I see some type of win and victory, like I said in the beginning of your reading. Okay, now with the Six of Wands, somebody wants your attention here. They see that you get a lot of attention already in the public eye, fame for some of you guys. Um, but they want your attention. I do see a proposal coming. Somebody's coming in with their love. Wow, the lovers. Somebody here may have had lovers. This may have been a lover once upon a time. They still feel this connection with you. Adam and Eve, they feel like you're their missing half. Gemini here. Um, yes, okay, you may have met this person through work or this was a work love affair, um, but they want to work on things and they want to put the time and the effort into this connection here, um, but you're going to have a choice in love here. Yes, a king of wands, this is your energy uh, coming through, but this may have been a player or somebody that just wanted to play the field, fucked around with your feelings here, that's for some of you guys, but this may be a new love that you're going to meet through work, and you're going to have a choice in love because some of you guys are single out there and <laughs> no, I'm not looking for that right now, but definitely somebody wants to come in to express their love for you meet you somewhere as well they want to take action but you're like hold your horses you may have had an argument with this person told this person about their stinking ass they know that you're not going to settle for no bullshit with them because th the truth of the matter is somebody's struggling here they are they're struggling here but i see that you have your guards up ace of swords it came out fumbled there was a possibly a lack of communication somebody blocked somebody here but i see a new love coming in and you're going to have a choice whether it be the old or the new whatever but i see that you're going to be getting proposed to there's a competition uh yes this person is coming in um they may have been married or somebody else on the side but there's a definitely a new love coming in and somebody wants to express their love yes somebody may have been married but somebody's gonna marry you they want to marry you this may be a taurus cancer um yeah aries Leo, sagittarius aquarius wow but they want to marry you. But some of you guys are already married here, and you was dealing with somebody that was a player. Now, for others, somebody may you may have been married already, and they somebody got somebody pregnant or fell in love with somebody else. It does fucking happen. We lose love in a long-term relationship and fall in love with somebody else. But somebody with obligations were towards their children and their family. Possibly there was a lot of money involved, property, something like this. But whoever is coming in is a very successful person. Uh, they're you're going to be very successful with this person. You're going to have somebody successful coming in, and then you're going to have somebody here that you know you still possibly harbor feelings for that uh, wants to come in as well. Now I see somebody here coming in single, but this person looks good. Yes, you're going to be hold your horses. You're going to you're going to you're going to be interrogating. Okay, I see interviews happening as well. Uh, a job interview coming up. Uh, yes, but this is somebody that you haven't spoken to in a long time here. Uh, 
varies, okay? But brace yourself, prepare yourself. But there is definitely something working out in your favor in terms of business and money and a lots of money owed to you here. Yes. But you may have had uh, words, exchanged words with this person to cut this person out because they were a liar or something that something happened here. Yes, ghosting. But this person is still keeping their eye on you here as well. Yes, on your social media. But, but somebody's going to reach out to you on social media. This person may live a distance. But somebody wants to enter into a new cycle with you. They can't see their world without you here. Um, but you're going to be entering into a new abundant uh, cycle. Aries. I mean, yo, okay, um, yeah, so this may be an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, a fixed sign as well, okay, but definitely um, love is in the air, I do see pregnancy, so be careful, but yo, go Aries, okay, yes. Okay, Cancer. Hold on. All right, Cancers, let's go. Make me proud, Cancers. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Uh, happy 4th of July if you guys celebrate it. I hope you guys had fun, a good time, we're safe. But let's go, Cancers. Wow, Five of Cups came out fumbled. So you're coming out of a depressive state, healing oneself. You're still healing as well. Is um. You're in between feelings right now. You're still releasing pain. So, moody, I would say. Of course, cats are crabby, moody. <laughs> you have a mood swings, okay? One minute you feel it, one minute you don't, okay? But it's, it's you're gradually releasing at this time. This is very good, cancers. Yes. Temperance, you're taking your time. You're trying to find balance as well. Some of you guys are already earth angels. Um, yes, you maybe get a lot of prophetic dreams. Uh, some of you guys are giving up drinking as well or some type of addictions here. Um, but it's patience. You give yourself time to heal. Time heals all. That's what they say. Um, but there's some type of forgiveness that needs to take place here and releasing um, out of your energy here. Some of you guys are already married as well or in a relationship. But I see that you guys are very talented. Um, yes, but you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. But it's like holding your composure, doing everything in moderation, trying to find peace and harmony in a relationship or in a connection here. But searching for peace, okay? Want everything to be harmonious here. Yes. But giving yourself that time. Yes, Queen of Swords. Okay, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yeah, I see that you're a no-nonsense kind of person here. Okay, you're very direct and upfront with people here. You're standing your ground with people. You're slicing through the mask here. You're very defensive and guarded here against people, but you're setting those healthy boundaries as well. Okay, but you are a person that suffered a lot in life with the Five of Cups here. You did. And you're still learning how to release the past or forgive the past or forgive others. Something is happening here. Okay, but it's like choosing your battles wisely at the same time, but you're direct talk. You're highly intelligent as well, but you mean what you say and you say what you mean. That's just the fuck it, all right? But you're getting down to business. Logical, analytical kind of person here. One that's not gonna suffer anymore. Yang energy. You're very in your masculine energy at this time, even if you're a feminine, because the queen of, queen of swords is a, is a feminine energy, okay? So you're very masculine. You're not you're not taking any bullshit from anyone, okay? Yes. You're witty, you're highly intelligent, you're analytical, and you have a good sense of judgment here when it comes to people, okay? Yes. Yes, hangman. You're leaving people hanging. But right now you're up in your head and you're overthinking the situation and you need it to release. So you're getting a new perspective on things. Basically that. Changing it up right? Change your mindset. But what do you need to release? That's why the five of cups came out fumbled. What is it that you need to release? What is holding you back here? Yes. Okay. Again, you are in control of your destiny here. Make a vision board, but, what, but don't allow anybody to block your shine. Continue to let your light shine. That's what your angel said. Okay. But you're very wise and self-imposed. Okay. You're not going to move until you're ready to move. That's how you feel about shit, okay? But getting your spiritual food at this time. Only you can let yourself down from this tree if you wanted to. 
Only you can. Okay? But there's stagnation here as well. Deep contemplation here. There's a sacrifice that needs to be made here. Yes, the sun. Okay? In, in, in search of happiness. Okay? What makes you happy? Looking towards your future. Planning towards your future as well. But things being illuminated in a situation here. But trying to remain optimistic during this time, cancers. But you're trying, but try to remain optimistic during this time. Okay? Now, there may be children involved with the sun here. Okay? There may be delays. Children may be affecting your love life. That's what the angel said. Right? Or thinking about a child here. Okay? But with the sun here is a renewed sense of happiness. You may be dealing with a Leo, Pisces. Okay? Yes. Realizing your dreams again. Okay? But don't allow anybody to block your light, your shine. Because I do see you guys being in the spotlight or some type of light workers out there. Uh, yes. But something, something being illuminated. Something, aha. Okay? Yes. Yes, Eight of Cups. Okay, you're getting to ready to walk away here. Some of you guys are moving to a hot state or live in a hot state. But you're getting ready to walk away from a situation here, even with children. Okay, yes. Some of you guys are cutting your ties when it comes to a child here. As well, if you have adult children, you're letting them fly and spread their wings and fly. Um, yeah, okay. But you're searching for truth. Yes. You're searching for truth, and the truth is coming. Temperance and the sun. The truth is coming. All right? But this is the end of a sage here. But there's a lot of healing that needs to take place when it comes to your childhood as well. A lot of things that you're pondering about that you're reflecting on, whether there be a mother or a sister or something that happened here, that finally you're deciding to, you know what? I have to leave the past in the past. The past is the past. Okay? Yes. Now looking towards your future and what makes you happy, doing what makes you happy here. The self-discovery happening here. Yes, seven of wands. You're very defensive. You're blocking people out at this time. Okay. Yes, you're standing in your truth, your belief. You're having the courage to do so. Um, yeah. So you guys are warriors out there basically that you're very fierce competitive as well so you're not giving up the fight here but there may be some type of negotiations taking place here debate debates um but you said what you said queen of swords is direct you said what you said and that's that that's just the bottom line ain't no <laughs> that's, that's it there's no love behind it there's no malice behind it it's just honest direct talk okay yes but willing to put up the fight here you're fighting, you're standing in what you believe in, okay? You're standing your ground. Defending yourself. Yes, the devil. Wow, shit. The devil here, Capricorn, okay? You may have been dealing with somebody that was toxic as fuck. Or a liar here, manipulative, possessive, controlling, obsessive here. But there's some type of codependency and addictions going on here, Okay? Yes, it is. And, um, yeah, somebody is blockages from you moving forward towards your happiness. It's some type of blockages here. And I want to see why. But spirit is protecting you at the same time. Both of your spirit, your angels are protecting you and your ancestors. Yes. But there is some type of obsession going on here with the devil or some type of toxicity or addictions. Okay? Somebody may have been abused as well. There's a depression going on here. There's... Uh, yeah, it, it could be sex addiction as well, food, but let's see. But somebody has health problems here as well. Yes, the magician. There you go. There's some type of magic going on here, and I felt it. Okay, there's some type of magic going on in your energy here where there's why, why there are blockages here. Okay, somebody's trying to leave you stuck. There's a stuck energy. Hangman, the seven of wands. Five of Cups coming out fumble, but again, temperance is your angels, okay? Eight of Cups is blocked, but somebody's trying to block your block you from moving forward here, okay? Or block is blockages. I'm just gonna say that, but somebody's definitely doing some type of black magic here, okay? Gemini, Virgo, somebody's manifesting. 
so yes. This is somebody who likes to play mind games as well. Have to give a gap. Smooth operator. Yes, six of wands came out fumbled. Okay, I'm gonna put it upright. But you're gonna win anyway, okay? You may be dealing with somebody that's an attention freak, a narcissist, that somebody who likes to be out in the limelight. But somebody doesn't want you to succeed here. Somebody wants to kick you off your pedestal here. But you're going to succeed anyway. Anyway. Okay? But don't throw away your dreams. Somebody wants you to give up on your dreams here. Okay? Don't. Don't. Pray on it. Pray on it. Pray on it. Listen to a spell breaking uh, prayers. Okay? Read your Bible. Listen to the word. All right, reject it out of your energy here because you're going to win anyway. But somebody doesn't want you, to, they don't want to see you win. Okay, somebody wants to get your attention here. Yes, Ace of Wands, they're doing some type of candle work, candle magic here. Yes, keeping an eye, it's about money, keeping an eye on money, property here. Yes, they're trying to fuck with your destiny here. Uh, Cancerous. Yes, this could be somebody from your childhood or people that you had an argument with over some type of inheritance um, or money. Yes, conflicts, confusion, competition. You're up for the challenge, though. You're up for the challenge. This could be somebody that's married as well, uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, or you're married, or this could be a business person. Uh, yes, spying. Okay, King of Swords. Again, King, Queen of Swords is the perfect match. There may be legal uh, legal battles going on here as well. Paperwork being filed here. Yes, possibly over children. Yeah, King of Wands, lovers. Somebody may have had lovers living a double life here as well. Some type of truth came out in this situation. Okay, this could be your own father. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants to slow up somebody's money here, but somebody been paying into this for a very long time. Yes. Okay, send an intention to somebody way, but you're not giving up the fight. Okay, don't give up. You're close to success. You're close to success, but I see that you're coming up with new ideas of win and victory for you, a new job, new opportunities opening up for you, passionate new beginnings for you, but yes, okay? But this is like somebody from your past, all right? But definitely they're working on your energy here. Uh, cancers, this could be family as well, or Judas, a friend. Yes, but you're well protected, okay? Either way. All right, let me get some spiritual warfare, and then I'm going to move on to my next reading. This could be over children, property, money. They're keeping an eye on your shit here. Some of you guys already have property and married out there. But this is jealousy. Jealousy. Competition. Yeah, somebody wants to have mind control over someone. I did see the Nine of Swords as well. Yes. Manipulation going on here. Yes, growth. They want to stagnate your growth, but you're growing through this. This is a life lesson that needed to learn. Uh, karmic lessons needed to be wrapped up here. You're transforming. Some of you guys, yes, you have enemies. Look, hidden enemies. Some of you guys may have a short blonde haircut as well. Yes. But somebody's plotting against you, yes. They want to possess you, possess, you know, clone you in some way, okay? But being under the influence of demonic forces here, yes. Light workers, yes. Some of you guys are light workers, or this is a light worker. Um, yes, pay attention to music. Some of you guys play the violin or some type of music artist out there as well. But don't let them block. They're trying to block your light here. Yes, sort of truth. That's the truth. But the truth is going to come out here. There's a breakthrough coming. The lies and deception is coming out here. Yes, fake religious. This is fake religious people that's doing this shit. Or somebody pretend to go to church and hallelujah and they doing this bullshit here. Okay? Yes, empty vessel. But this is an empty vessel here. Yes, they're trying to clone you here. But you're empath. You can pick up on the energy here. They may, be, they have, may have created a voodoo doll here as well. Yes, but your ancestors are protecting you, babes. And you're ascending, but they're trying to block this. Yes, there may be gossip going on all around you. You may have been in the newspaper. They're going to get their fucking karma. Somebody's getting their karma for doing something here. Some of you guys may be journalists, news reporters out there. Yes, they try to corrupt your dreams, but pay attention to your dreams. Pay on your, pay on your dreams. Peace is going to be restored in your life. Uh, cancers, but somebody's definitely doing a background check or FBI work here, detective work. Some of you guys work for FBI detective. But yes, there's 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 some bullshit going on here, but your ancestors are protecting you here. Yeah, follow your intuitions. You have the power to see the past, present, and future, but they trying to block your intuitions as well, cancers. Okay? Yes. 
Okay, next up I have Libra. All right, hold on, Libras. All right, Libras, let's go. Make me proud, Libras. Let's go. The Empress. Wow. Boom. This is your energy. I mean, some of you guys are entrepreneurs, married out there, have children. You're on top of your fucking game, Libras. That's what's up. Okay? You know your value. You know your worth here. That's that. Okay. Wow. Empress. Go, Libras. <laughs> yes. This is your energy, babes. Yes. You're not chasing anybody. As a matter of fact, you're icing people out here. Okay? You're not speaking to people at this time. Yes, you're taking a break. Some of you guys may be still healing from an injury, medicine, um, or hospitalized, or somebody, your loved one is hospitalized, just gave birth to a baby. That's for some of you guys. Um, but it's rest, peace, relaxation here. Um, yes, and planning. You're planning something here, okay? But you're icing people out here. Some of you guys may have an upcoming surgery as well. Yes, the sun. Wow. Okay, yes. Yeah. Some of you guys may have just had a baby. Congratulations, if so. But with the sun card here, I do see you're planning for your future. Okay, I said planning, right? You're planning for your future. Um, yes, yeah. some of you guys are manifesting children or, you know, uh, something about a child here. This may be a Leo as well. Yeah. But remain optimistic. You're not allowing anybody to block your shine. No, you're remaining optimistic about a situation here. But there may be a child involved in the situation here. Um, yes, but I see that you guys are very successful people out there with the Empress and the Sun here. Okay, yeah. Yes, Queen of Swords, this is your energy. There may be two people involved in this situation here. That's just plain and simple. Or you may be having a problem with a friend, a family member, or something here. But I see that you're setting those healthy boundaries. You're a strong leader. Um, you say what you mean. You mean what you say. You're a no-nonsense kind of person here. Libras, okay? You're a strong leader here. Um, yes, you're setting those healthy boundaries. Again, you're not chasing anyone. You're not, you don't, you're not chasing your di direct talk. Just like cancers, okay? But um, you're really in your element, which means that you're really head over a heart right now and you're being assertive as well, okay? Yes, but clarity and judgment here, okay? Making a decision here. You guys are highly intelligent as well. Some of you guys are educators out there. Work with children. Yes, but cutting something out of your life. Cutting people out of your life. Yes, the high priestess. Yes, there was some type of secrecy here, okay? Hidden truths. Some of you guys are tarot readers out as well, but follow your intuitions. You guys are very uh, intuitive, okay? Yes. But with the high priestess here, there was hidden facts, and you're trying to get down to the bottom of the truth here. What's the truth here? Things coming to light in a situation, but what is the truth here? Okay, so you're getting down to the bottom of the truth. Some of you guys may need a tarot reading out there. My information is down below if you will need a tarot reading. Uh, but some of you guys are learning about tarot. Um, but there's some type of hidden factors that you're speaking on and you're trying to get clarity in a situation. Somebody may have left you on read or didn't answer you here. Yeah, but this could be about a child as well. Okay, hidden factors about a child. Yes, the chariot. Moving forward, you're making silent moves. This may be a Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, um, Cancer, okay? Some of you guys may be purchasing a car as well, but you're building on, you're building on success in silence. Overcoming your obstacles here, whatever that may be. Yes, but there's blockages. Oh, shit. There's blockages here. Okay, yes, some of you guys may be in a family situation or already married, okay? Working on things, uh, working things out within a family situation, putting that time in with your family and your children. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo. <Oof. laughs> okay. But there's somebody's trying to block somebody here from moving from moving forward. Okay. Somebody something may have happened to your car as well. Okay. It may have got repossessed or um, something, something here with a with a car. Okay, a ticket of some sort or a boot on the car. But there may have been, there's two people here, okay? This may be a same-sex relationship, but there may have been somebody else involved in this situation, okay? 
or your family is involved. Some of you guys are blocking out your own family or just focused on work right now, working on yourself. Um, but something pertaining to a family here. Yes, yeah, seven of wands. There's blockages. You're very defensive um, as well. Some of you guys may work for the law, okay? Or somebody is denying allegations here or denying some type of truth here that you try to bring out of a person. But, yes, there's blockages here. You're very defensive, but you're standing your ground as well. The more, this is some type of magic going on, black magic. There's some type of black magic going on here. You're, you're getting ready to come out of this. There's an illusion, some type of deception. The high priestess, you know there's secrecy. Again, blockages, but your ancestors are here. Somebody wants to leave somebody bedridden or sick. Somebody wants to somebody wants to end something here. Yeah, somebody wants to somebody wants to end something here. Some of you guys may be going to court. You're gonna get your karmic justice. But somebody wants their justice here. This may be a Libra, Capricorn. Uh, some of you guys may be unemployed, lost your job, having health issues here, or struggling with a person in a connection. Okay, but definitely some type of black magic going on here. So definitely. Somebody's heartbroken here, depressed, remorse, regret, missing you. Somebody may have passed away as well. Why is this happening? Yes, this could be over money, property, a family, children, finances, inheritance, a business, your business, okay? Somebody's doing possibly candle work here. Property may have been seized as well or fighting over property and children. Money, lots of money involved here. Somebody may have found out a message here as well. Yes, missed opportunities, feeling down and out, depressed, nostalgic. Somebody's feeling rejected here as well. Somebody iced somebody out here, ghosted somebody here. Yes, the emperor, perfect match. Somebody's a perfect match here. Somebody may have been fucking around here or in and out of somebody's life here, really not settled down kind of person here, but there's a perfect match here. Now... Either somebody was already in a connection, you're in a connection, both of y'all are in connection, but both of y'all belong together, and there's an interference here of both of y'all coming in together. This may have started out sexual as well, but somebody's not showing their hands here, okay? There may be a, a judge involved in this situation here. Somebody is disappointed about the outcome of a situation here. But I see you guys both the fuck up. Yes, there's a stuck energy. Now, somebody may be stuck in a situation, stuck in their head, overthinking a situation, but this somebody is stuck. This is a stuck energy here. Somebody is, is hold, still holding on to your energy, for financially fucked up here as well, or maybe locked up, okay? Yes. There's a waiting game. Somebody wants to heal this, but you're still healing past the situation here. There's communication coming in, but there's a stuck energy here. Somebody's afraid of their family or afraid what a person might say. There may be the, a clash of cultures going on here as well. But whoever did this is under judgment. Okay? Yes. It's towards your new beginnings or somebody's new beginnings. They don't want you to move forward. But somebody was foolish here and sleeping around with people had a sex addiction or some type of addiction here. Toxic as fuck. Okay? Yes. You decide to walk away from this and free yourself, the Empress. Okay? But this is a perfect match. But somebody may have been, already been involved. Queen of Swords. The other person. Okay? Yes. And then we have a Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Somebody was fucking around here. Yes. Seven of Swords. Somebody was lying, deceptive, running away from the truth here, denying allegations here. But now somebody is stuck. They're, somebody wants to leave somebody stuck here, although they're your perfect match. Yeah. Somebody was lying and sneaking around and sleeping with other people. Or lied about sleeping with other people, but they were. Yes, Ace of Pentacles. This is towards a lot of money. Somebody wants somebody to keep investing in them, in a connection here. Um, yes, but new beginnings for you, and I see a lot of money coming in. But somebody wants to offer you something here, but it's a stuck energy if you guys are single. Okay, but it's, it's, it's slowing up your finances here. Money come in, money come, come out, go out. But let me pick some of my spiritual warfare. You may be dealing with a cancer as well, but let's see here. Yes, dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. They're trying to spiritually attack you here, uh, Libras, okay? Or you're not dreaming at all. That's why I gave you a dream um, affirmation.
Yes, spiritual warriors. You guys are warriors, okay? Yes, incarnated to strive through many spiritual and physical trials and tribulations, evolve into a spiritual leader. You're going to have a breakthrough. Be careful with break-ins or stealing um, as well, breaking in your car. Yes, but you are some type of spiritual leader and teacher out there, guys. Yes, this is friends. There we go. This is somebody that you fucking know. Dark forces. You need a spiritual cleansing. They went to a witch warlock. Again, with the candle. Okay, this may be an air sign, like yourself. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Or a fire sign. Here was your Sagittarius. Yes, cords. They, this is like... Um, they want to keep somebody attached to them. Somebody did a... a, a um, Magic to keep somebody attached to them, although they're a karmic partner. They don't belong together, okay? But this is what this is, to keep them attached. Yes, they want to leave somebody in illusion here as well. Yes, yeah, spades, okay? Yes, death and destruction here, bringers. Come in and lie about their true intentions. They thrive over of illusions and fooling their victims. Yes, a spade is a spade. Somebody was wearing a mask here. Somebody has incubus, succubus spirit. Give, be careful with gift magic or want anybody. Hey, Libra, I got something for you. No, you did it. Okay? No, you did it. This could be at the workplace or you met this person through work. Whatever it is, it's being reversed. This is over money, like I said. Okay? This is a high-level demon. Yes. Yes, the matrix. Breaking out of the matrix, but wanted to leave somebody in the matrix, stuck in their mind. Okay? Yes. Strangers in reverse. This is not a fucking stranger. This is somebody that you know. They went to a Bible Lao, doing a did a spiritual uh, ritual here. A warlock, a warlock. Somebody who knows this shit. Yes, this is over mind control here, as well. You guys got star power, okay? So uh, in the public eye, do your thing, but they want to block your success as well. Bait. What I said. Somebody's trying to bait somebody in. Love. Uh, you know, tempting, seductive. Yes. Mm-hmm. Lure. To lure the person back in. You're gaining clarity right now. Um, this is Psychic Vampire. So you guys are light workers already. Amulet. Protect your energy, guys. We yeah, have crime. Somebody may be locked up equipment due to crime here. Money. Uh, yes, abundance. Be careful with your money. Be careful with your money, uh, Libras. But I see here possibly a robbery or... But somebody somebody coming into crime. Surveillance. So so somebody may be under surveillance here. But somebody did something under the moon phase. Uh, grave did something to end something here, like I said. Uh, yes, but somebody's keeping an eye on you here, okay? Yes, surveillance in your house, your money. Careful, careful, uh, Libras, okay? Yes. But again, I do see locked up in, yeah, criminal background. Somebody doing something impulsive with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, okay, but... Yeah, that's all I have for you. Libras. Okay, Capricorn. Hold on. Let's go Capricorns. The death. Ooh. Okay, somebody may have passed away. My condolences. Something is coming to an end. You're going through a rebirth at this time. Uh, yes, unexpected upheaval happening in your life. Um, yes, but there's a deep cleansing that needs to take place here. You may be dealing with a Scorpio, but there's a renewal happening here. Yes, Knight of Cups, following your heart, releasing pain at this time, getting past the situation, doing what you love, Knight of Cups, somebody may be ending something here, some of you guys may be widows out there as well, or lost somebody close to you, my condolences, um, yeah, but there's somebody here that doesn't want something to end, but there's a new love coming in as well, somebody wants to express their love to you, um, yes, a proposition, this may be somebody younger here, not necessarily, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yes, three of pentacles, yes. Okay, play it nice. Somebody, okay. Something may be worked out, being worked out um, due to somebody's death or passing away or somebody's doing a will here. 
uh, somebody's doing a will here, okay, or there's some type of negotiations taking place here, but so, I see a collaboration coming in. Somebody wants to work with you here. I see somebody sweet talking you, buttering you up here as well, okay, or sweet talking someone to get something in their favor. Um, this may be power of attorney as well, but something being negotiated here, okay? Somebody may be in hospice, the devil, what I said, okay? Be careful with tempting offers. Um, yes, somebody may suffer from some type of addictions, um, but somebody wants to control over a group here, okay? They come in very loving, very nice, very kind, but then take control over one's assets or control over the whole project here, something that's happening here. But somebody's trying to manipulate a deal here. Somebody's not being fully honest here about their dealings, okay? Yes. Um, somebody may be going into rehab as well or signing up for some type of counseling to help with some type of addictions here. Um, but there's like some type of depression, health problems going on here as well. Um, and somebody is trying to, you know, get shit in order before they pass away. Um, but there's an obsession here as well and temptation, secrecy. Be careful. Yes, Six of Cups, this may be your own sibling, somebody from your past. Um, yes, that's coming in very sweet, very nice to work with you here. You may have not spoken to this person in a long time, but again, a child may have passed away, my condolences, or somebody, your family member, a friend of yours, somebody here. Um, yes, but there's somebody from your past that's toxic as fuck, or family members, or this collaboration is toxic as fuck. Now, this may be some illegal shit going on here. Now, hear me out. This may be some illegal shit going on here, okay? Yes, but somebody is trying to butter it up to go in their favor, but they're manipulative and they're narcissists here. Yes, now this may be negotiations over children as well, okay? Yes, some of your children may have some type of addictions here and you're trying to seek some type of help for them as well, okay? Yes, or this is a parent that has some type of addictions going on here. Yes, okay? But with the Six of Cups here, this is somebody from your past coming back around, but they don't have good intentions. Um, Capricorn, okay? But this is toxicity. A toxic household, toxic background, toxic children, toxic childhood. Something going on here. Toxic past. Yeah, Six of Swords. I see you moving away. Okay, some of you guys are traveling, moving to a new state, but you're moving on from the past. You're leaving these people behind. You know that they're full of shit. Okay, follow your intuitions here, all right? You may have to travel to, you know, again, hearing about somebody's death, and you may have to travel to, 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 to bury that person or to attend a funeral here. Now, somebody may have passed away violently. I'm not going to lie with the devil and the death card here. Somebody may have passed away violently or two at a young age, okay? And it may have been people involved in the situation here. Um, yes, something that happened, somebody went, something happened overseas or somebody traveled and something happened here, okay? That's for some of you guys. Um, yes, but I see that you're moving, you're moving, but these are toxic friends, toxic people, toxic, yes, this is toxic, okay? You're trying to find peace. Yes, five of wands. There was a fight that broke out, like I said. There was competition, possibly jealousy going on here, but there may have been a fist fight that broke out here. A group of people, like I said, people involved, more than one. Um, yes, but there's chaos. You're trying to move away from the chaos here, okay? But I see something coming in towards you. Be careful with your energy, Capricorns, okay? Getting into any physical altercations and fights with people here. But you're trying to move away from the drama here. Okay, but you're not seeing eye to eye with people as well. Siblings, friends, family, whatever. Okay, children. Relationship. Yes, temperance. Okay, patience, keys. Again, peace and harmony, doing things in moderation. Okay, but you're standing up for what you believe in. You're fighting for what you believe in as well. Okay, some of you guys may be checking yourself into some somewhere, checking yourself in somewhere, um, trying to get some type of help or assistance here um, to, to find balance or to, you know, but prayer is essential here. It is. Um, yes, there's a lot of deep reflection going on here with you as well, pertaining to your life, 
maybe dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini, Clint Eastwood. Okay, I see Clint Eastwood plane crash. That was just the breaking news. So Clint Eastwood is a Gemini. He has a lot of kids. I believe he has seven kids. Some of you guys may have a lot of kids out there as well or somebody. Um, yes. Um, but let's see here. Doing things in moderation. Trying to make peace here. Yes, Ten of Swords. Somebody got physically injured here. Some of you guys are still healing past a physical injury as well. Yes, possibly a car accident. Hold on, guys. But somebody may have passed away tragically. Okay? Whoever this is, they're trying to reach out to you through your dreams. Whoever this is. Okay? Yes. But um, you may have suffered some type of physical injury due to a car accident or something. Some, some type of accident that happened, you know, uh out of nowhere something happened okay but you feel betrayed you feel stabbed in the back you have a lot of enemies you're at a down point here um yes you this is the end though this is the end of this okay yes king of pentacles this is your energy okay you're focused on your money your finances some of you guys are married out there as well but you know just your stability at this time maintaining oneself a father may have passed away here as well, or your husband or wife. Um, yes, but um, right now you focused on career, your your finances, okay? Stabilize, like stabilizing oneself, your children, your responsibilities, okay? Yes. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Yes, family. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are married out there, okay? But this is a family setting as well. Yeah. Okay, trying to restore peace and happiness in a family situation here. Okay, yeah. But I do see some type of unity happening here. Some type of unity. But there was a lot of uh, mistrust and... Yeah. It, 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 was a, it, was, it, it was a lot of pain in a connection here or with the family. Okay, this could be a father-in-law as well that passed away or somebody close to you, somebody that you know that was a father figure to you. Um, but there was a lot of pain in a, a pain in a situation or marriage or family setting. Okay. Yes, the Queen of Cups. Here we go. Okay. And then there's a mother figure. Okay. Yes. Some of you guys, your mom may be sick as well. Or mom passed away my condolences but queen of cups you may have children this person may have children um as well okay but this is somebody that's very loving very caring very nurturing very kind okay yes something happened here tower scorpio okay something happened between you and a person here or something happened tragically suddenly that it took it took you off guard here okay it's left you sentimental here Yes, hangman, up in the head, up in your head, rethinking the situation here, releasing pain, gaining a new perspective here. Um, but there's delays here. Yes, I see you walking away from a situation. You're moving on from a situation here as well, okay? You may have witnessed a lot of domestic violence as a child, okay? That's for some of you guys. But I see that you're moving on, okay? You're searching for truth. Yeah, six of pentacles. Yeah, you're waiting for some type of payment or some type of payment is owed here. Yeah, but I see some, some type of payment coming in. Yeah. But there's a lot of disagreements here. Lots of fights, lots of arguments, lots of disagreements here going on here. Possibly live with family. You live with family as well. Um, you're the only one that's trying to keep it together here, um, but there was a lot of damage. People not minding their business here, um, possibly about money and, you know, who does what here. But with the Six of Pentacles, I see some type of money coming in towards you or some type of money owed that you have to pay out here. Yes, the lovers. Somebody have lo lovers here. There was a choice in love. Okay, and it was an imbalance when it came to this situation here. Somebody was given more than the other. Um, but definitely there was a choice in backstab. A 
okay but somebody may have had multiple lovers and possibly a child on the side or children outside their relationship or marriage that you found out about that's for some of you guys okay but somebody was entertaining other people here Gemini yes king of cups king queen of cups is the perfect match mm -hmm. but somebody's not giving up here somebody doesn't want to give up here Pisces Cancer Scorpio Okay, I have two males here. So there was definitely a decision here. It was one woman, two males. That that could be that too. Okay. Yeah. But there was obligations here in terms of parenting. But I see two people are connected. They love each other, but something has to end end before something begins. And something being negotiated here, but somebody's trying to manipulate the situation possibly with children. That's for some of you guys, but this is somebody from the past or family or it's too many people. It's too much chaos going on here, okay? But somebody needs to pay out something here. Let me get one more to end this reading. Yes, the Knight of Pentacles, money coming in slow, things moving slow, but time heals all. Yeah, there may be some type of legal, legalities going on here, investigation going on here. Yes, yes, somebody somebody here has to give a gap. They're highly intelligent. They know how to speak. Uh, possibly law, doctor, military. Um, yes, but manifestation taking place here. The Hierophant, yes. Um, this could be a marriage, okay? This could be a marriage or somebody goes to somebody else because they were already in a marriage, okay? Somebody may be in a relationship, but it's unconventional. They just live together, have children together, but they're not married, okay? And then there's a family here, a family man, uh, a married man here, but again, um, there was ghosting going on here, lack of communication going on here because somebody's obligation is with one thing and your obligation is with the other. That's, that's, that's how it is. But, you know, you're giving yourself time. You're putting that hard work in. But this is going to take a long time before this comes together. There's a, there's a waiting game here, and especially for your money to pick up. Yes, the moon. There's some type of secrecy going on here. Deception, lies. Pisces Cancer. Yes, somebody was secretly a hoe or sleeping around here. But somebody needs, there's it's a lot of money involved in property as well. Okay, but there was somebody else on the side here. Basically that. Somebody doing their own thing here. Okay, this is a using energy as well. Aries or Sagittarius. But something is about to close out. And I, and I do see traveling as well. Okay, but... um. <laughs> This is going. This is a lot going on here, all right. But that's all I have for you, um, Capricorn and Cardinal signs. Okay, please check out my other channel on Possible 2.0 for your other readings uh, later on today. Okay, but before I go, you already know I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. Your girl Tosh. I'm out. <laughs>